Hey guys, this is Travis here from For The Hustle and I just wanted to make this a uh, quick video to share with you guys my thoughts on COVID-19 and um, how to actually overcome this period and some of the things that we can do as freelancers, as self-employed um, during this period. I know like hearing from just the news and my friends and uh, colleagues that everybody is hit and uh, people are hit hard. Okay, so like there are people out there who are really struggling. So I thought that, and even more so that most countries in the world now, they are, they are given, most likely given the work from home order. Um, I'm from Singapore, so like next week, my whole country, even though they don't officially announce it as a lockdown, more or less it's a, it's a, it's a technical lockdown already. Meaning to say that we cannot go out, business operations, non-essential business operations have to shut down. And um, freelancers in Singapore, they are hit. Um, in fact, there's a site sharing that uh, freelancers till today has been has lost twenty seven million dollars in income. Okay, this is just in Singapore. So you imagine the whole world. So uh, I know that this is a terrible times that we are going through now, and uh, it has impacted me as well as a um, as a service provider, as a self employed. So I thought of kind of like seven ways that. Uh, we should actually uh, keep ourselves uh, occupied in this period uh, and try to build um, some things and put some systems in order so that when you know this actually recovers and the world recovers from this and we will recover, it's just a matter of time, um, then we will be much better prepared uh, because we actually took the time in this, uh, this COVID-19 downtime uh, not to just uh, pity ourselves or not to just you know be emotionally uh, emotionally affected to the point that we don't do anything um, but actually um, still doing something uh, in terms of our business in terms of uh, improving our business our processes uh, even though there's no orders or there's no uh, any services uh, coming to you or orders coming into you because I know that's the main thing you're worried about cash flow but uh, as much as we want to worry about that, if we just keep on worrying, then um, it's, it's, it's not going to be productive either. So without further ado, uh, let's begin uh, talking about the first point uh, that I want to share with you, which is uh, this is a time to reflect, basically. A great time to reflect on your successes, your experience as a freelancer or as a self-employed. Um, basically for me right I've been uh, self-employed for two years uh, going and uh, this is a great time for me to reflect on my journey and what I did right and what I didn't do so well so that I can actually write it all down and organize things and think that okay when we overcome this COVID period this low period right uh, what are some of the things I can improve on on uh, me as a freelancer or my services and how I communicate with my clients? So, for example, if I'm talking about some of my orders, right, I'll be thinking hard, like, okay, uh, what went well with my uh, in terms of how I structure myself as a freelancer? What are some of the things I want to eliminate? So we are all so caught up in the hustle, right? Um, when you are actually making like. Back then when we were making money and uh, we were actually getting orders and uh, being so busy right uh, keeping active and so engrossed in the actual work that we kind of forget about to do this kind of um, uh, self-reflection and uh, brainstorming on how to actually bring our businesses our uh, our freelancing careers to the next level okay I'm, I'm, i know that a lot of people are caught up in in this uh, okay just Every day, all the coming work, 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 work. They don't really think about okay, uh, how can I in fact automate some things? Okay, automate some things on my business, or how can I actually charge higher prices? So now is a great time to reflect on all this. Okay, a second tip would be that now is the time to replan. Okay, plan for your future. If you were thinking about creating new services or taking up a new skill, this is a great time because now we have so much free time right if you are not getting the services in um, it's a great time to kind of start writing down your plans for the future or start to plan about how you want to actually uh, uh, be innovative and 
um, get more orders in this period if you can if you can of course I know that many people out there they are trying to come with innovative ways on um, their businesses have been hit but how can they restructure it such that they still uh, are able to provide services or products to their customers in another way the world is getting creative nowadays with this stay stay from home thingy right hashtag stay from home uh, work from home sorry um, so it's a great time to actually sit down and reflect and replan about how you want to move forward uh, yourself or in your career as a self-employed as a freelancer now point number three is that this is a great time to rebrand yourself as well what I mean by this is that I actually started doing this uh, beginning of the year uh, when I actually looked at my uh, Fiverr profile page and I, I didn't like it at all because it was so messy, there was no consistent theme and I felt that it affected my overall revenue. It affected how people, whether people want to work with me. So I thought that um, I took some time, okay, if, if you don't have time then you have time now. Take some time to actually think of um, okay, uh, right now, in terms of how I package myself, either you're selling on the online marketplace or you're selling uh, from your own portfolio, uh, website, landing page or whatever. If you have been using this for a long time really, think of how you can actually refresh this and give it new life. Uh, maybe you want to start with creating a new theme for your, let's say if you're a seller on Fiverr, maybe you want to start creating a new theme uh, when you're creating your gig images, okay, change up the fonts. Maybe it's time for you to create videos, okay, to appeal to your audiences why they should uh, get your services if you haven't already done so. So all these are part of uh, rebranding as well. So these first three are really focused on a time to reflect, a time to replan, and a time to rebrand yourself. Okay, so all these are kind of the prep work that we are doing. We are leveraging on the time that we have now. So that when we come out of this right, guys, we actually come out better. In fact, maybe if you if you do all this right in this period, you start seeing some orders again. So that's my advice to you guys. Um, spend your time wisely during this period and uh, focus on rebranding yourself, having a solid plan and uh, so that you're better set for the future. Okay, this uh, tip number four is kind of a little hack I want to share with you. And it's something that some people do, some people don't, which is to prepare your workflows. So what I mean by this is that, let, let me give you an example, right? Let's say I know that there are some standard questions that I always have to ask my clients before I start working with them, either creating a, a storytelling video, for example. There will be some requirements I need from them. How many actors you want? Uh, uh, what are the props that you need? Uh, what is the script and uh, what is the location to film so on and so forth or let's say if I'm creating a Shopify store for my clients there will be some processes right it's standard processes throughout okay I need you to uh, uh, create an account for me uh, I'll send you an invitation with my partner account and then all the way to what is, what is the theme that you want to use uh, what are some of the apps that you need in your store what's the functionality you need so instead of asking all over again, like every single time, this is so messy. Now is a great chance if you haven't already done so, to actually create these kind of workflows so that it in terms helps you to automate things and it makes your life so much easier. Imagine that you have a, a pre-made script even, okay? Uh, before I touch about the script. So anyway, imagine if let's say, uh, really it doesn't matter what service you're providing as a freelancer or self-employed, you want to kind of have these uh, automated workflows that you send to your clients, right? So that, you know, clients, they, they, they'll they read the, they don't, all the FAQ, okay? Think of all the FAQ um, is answered in their booklet or in their, uh, in their workflow. Or if you have a bunch of standard questions you need to ask your clients, just send them this, make your life easier, make their life easier also because they know, okay, okay, this is the standard process then they fill up the form or they read the FAQ or the work process, then you fully understand how you guys are gonna work with each other. Um, I think this is gonna save so much of your time. Okay, now talking about the script, right? Script, this is so important, right? And uh, this this differs according to what, what niche or what industry you're in. But I have pre-made script for people, uh, for new leads, 
who I'm trying to convert, okay, I have a different response uh, in, uh, in accordance to how they respond. And all these need time to churn out. You need to think about how you are trying to convert people. And it depends on your objective as well. Let's say you, you want to get retainer work, then you want to prepare. It can be from just a few scripts, like five to 10 different scripts to a hundred scripts, depending on how much scripts you want. You can have scripts for, I'm giving you examples here, scripts for uh, lead generation, scripts to close uh, your clients, scripts to get retainer work, scripts to ask people for tips, uh, scripts even uh, when your clients is not satisfied with the product and uh, they're trying to find problem with you, problematic buyers, right? You can generate scripts for that, uh, how to tackle all these issues. So this is a great time to finally write your scripts, think of how you want to uh, uh, structure your business in terms of getting more sales or just uh, handling those nasty clients that I always talk about. Okay, another thing I suddenly thought about, which I actually uh, shared this uh, in my previous video, but this is a great time to build your portfolio as well, right? If you don't have a solid, nice portfolio and you are just getting orders like, like here and there and you're wondering why people are not engaging you, then you are lacking a solid portfolio or testimonials or reviews. So this is a great time to work on all this. If you are building your own personal site, your personal portfolio, take the time uh, to actually make everything nice. Find, go and find all your testimonials, go and find all those portfolio work that you may have just dumped, there some, dumped them somewhere and it's all unorganized, right? Time to put them all together and present it nicely. Okay, so tip number five is to think of... Okay, tip number five is that maybe you want to take this time to develop a new skill. Especially when uh, in this period, right, some of us are realizing that, oh my gosh, we are hit so hard by COVID-19 and our businesses are, are hit so hard. But then again, there are some businesses out there who are thriving in this situation, like for example, Zoom, okay? So maybe take some time. Um, there's always opportunity and there's always opportunity in crisis. So use this time to think of a new skill that may start making you money again. It may not be something that, um, that you're good at, but hey, we have, all the time in the world right now. So this may be a great time to start learning a new skill. Uh, one of the resources I recommend you is Skillshare.com. If you don't know about Skillshare, this is a great platform. If you know about Udemy, right, it is similar to Udemy, uh, but there's a key difference in that um, you actually don't buy the courses, but you pay for a membership uh, in order to view, uh, view the more premium videos. Okay, so once you have a membership, you'll be able to access premium videos and then so-called premium minutes. It's called premium minutes. So check it out. Skillshare has a ton of great um, courses and uh, like the name implies, you actually can learn some great valuable skills, especially um, skills that you were interested to learn or uh, you want to think of how you can improve uh, in this period. So check it out. But anyway, think of how you can develop a new skill. Now, tip number six is if you don't want to develop a new skill, no problem at all. Then think of how you can boost uh, your this existing skills. So, for example, you're a copywriter or you're a graphic designer or you're a photographer, but you want to go to the next level. Either you maybe you want to write better copywriting or you want to uh, film better videos, take better photographs. Then uh, you are having a lack of clients now, right? So it's a great time to leverage on this opportunity to either take some you know, higher level expert courses whereby you actually uh, upgrade yourself and uh, actually maybe go and learn some things that is uh, in your niche but you don't have the time to learn it before or maybe try to keep up with some of the latest developments because I know that uh, for myself, especially Shopify, the platform that I'm dealing with as an e-commerce partner is always changing all the time and sometimes I'm just I'm not keeping up and sometimes some of the things I do may be lacking behind like uh, I don't know a couple of months okay so uh, maybe this is a great time for us to actually go and keep up with the times if you have an existing skill that you don't want to give up yet and go and uh, find out the latest updates and stay in touch with the community okay so that you actually keep up the times and you don't fall behind and you bring your skill to the next level Okay guys, the final point, point number seven here 
is to get a support system. Now, um, this one is something that I've been uh, spending my time on uh, quite a lot lately. In fact, uh, the reason why I started for the hustle really is to create this uh, online resources, videos, tips, uh, guides, sharing uh, with freelancers, self-employed, small businesses all over the world. But also I find that it's important to uh, find support with your local community, which uh, I'm doing so now. Uh, but um, you got to find your own local community if you're not from Singapore, because I'm more focused on Singapore right now. Um, but I'm sure there are communities out there, freelancing community, even online freelancing community. Uh, I'm sure if you're on online marketplaces, Fiverr or Upwork, there are communities out there. And I strongly, strongly suggest to you to go and reach out to these communities to just share your stories or ask questions what's happening and try to get some resources because I thought that I was all alone quite frankly to share with you guys but um, when I started doing the actual research on uh, social media on Google search and just uh, even opening my, up myself to talking to some of my peers that I've not talked to them before who are also freelancers and self-employed and I'm be hearing I've been hearing so many different resources from websites that are supporting freelancers um, and actually matching them to uh, to uh, giving them jobs basically okay it's a freelancer only portal um, to actually some relief funding that uh, local organizations are actually uh, being so kind to, to to help out freelancers in this tough these tough times. Okay, and uh, so on and so forth, even going to uh, forums, even watching videos like this, even let's say having a Zoom meeting, okay, of, of uh, with your fellow freelancers, okay, since you guys are staying at home, right, having a Zoom meeting with your fellow freelancers and uh, just uh, keeping each other updated, uh, maybe every week or bi-weekly, how's the situation going on, uh, what are some of the things you're doing to manage during these times. So I think all these will be very powerful and uh, be very helpful in this period so that emotionally we don't fall into a downward spiral and that we know that this is something that is happening to the whole world right now so we just gotta hang in there and tough it out things will get better for sure i believe uh, but in this period that's why i feel that it's so important that we keep ourselves active and that's why i'm sharing with you all these tips all right, so this was just a quick impromptu video uh, to share with you guys some of my thoughts on how we can keep busy as freelancers and self-employed uh, during this period of uh, COVID-19. The world is being locked down. Stay at home. Uh, keep yourself healthy. Wash your hands, guys. And uh, let us just hope that you no know, things will uh, turn out. Uh, uh, situation will improve okay, for the better sooner than later. And uh, I will work hard to uh, produce more content like this and uh, more useful information because that's, that's what the For The Hustle channel is all about. All right. If you have any suggestions, please uh, leave them in the comments below. I appreciate if you, you found this video useful, please uh, give us a like and share these videos because um, I'm sure people, uh, like-minded people uh, may find this video useful. Okay. So uh, that's it this time. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Keep on hustling, guys.